The finishing touch, please, Zach. Who makes the napalm? I did. Well done, then. Napalm? I can't work miracles, Kitty. No gallery will show this. I'll show it here. Put a tag of half a million on it. Well, you haven't sold a piece for more than 400,000. I never shot a ground wear missile into a brand new Porsche before either. 500 grand. High art doesn't come cheap. Zach! Sort out the smoke alarm. Oh, it's not the smoke alarm. It's your phone. That's a smoke alarm. Kitty McCaig. Hello. Hello, sis. Christopher! He's calling to wish you happy birthday for tomorrow. Christopher, is that the brother? Twin brother. Happy birthday to both of us, then. Where are you? I'm at work. You at the studio? Yep, setting up a new show. Same stuff as usual. Old spitting fire that terrorises the audience. You're going to kill someone one of these days. Well, you never know your luck. It could be an art critic. You call that art? All that destruction? Why can't you paint me a nice picture of something I can recognise? How is Daddy? Oh, same as ever. It's the most crucial project we've ever taken on. Complete disaster if we're a day over schedule. I'm sick of it, Kitty. Oh, Chris, get out. I keep telling you. I can never raise the nerve to face him. You know what he's like. He wouldn't let you in and he won't let me out. Chris, you can't be a slave to him for the rest of your life. Quit! Don't ask him for permission, just get out! I can't face what comes after. I'm too scared of him. That's what it comes down to. Oh, Chris. I just wanted to say... I just wanted to hear your voice. I've got to go now. Hey, you take care of yourself. Goodbye, Kitty. Andrew McCaig. I'm at my son's funeral. Stop all the work. I'll be there in 20 minutes. One hour of quality video on a camera the size of a credit card. The response has been fantastic. What do you think? I still don't like the colour. <laughs> we can change it. Why have you never licensed any of your other designs before? No one ever suggested it before. You're going to be a very rich woman, Miss Henderson. I think we should celebrate. 
excuse me. Hello? All right, keep trying, Beckett. I'll call Ed. Either my watch is broken, or this guy should turn professional. I told you, he knows what he's doing. So how do you rate the bike, Ed? Well, nice one, boys. What a ride. Bring it down now. Bring it right down, Ed. Oh, come on. You told me to wait for the ride up. You've done all we needed. Now, the bike's doing fine. Why stop when we're having so much fun? Yeah, it's not the bike, Ed. It's the tyres. The tyres aren't rated for that kind of speed. Ah, gotcha. Ed, what's happening now? Ed, can you hear me? Boys, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. You better get out of the way. John Wayne. the only one I've got left. It's eaten the other three. I'm sorry, Mr. Beckett, but your account's been frozen. <laughs> well, unfreeze it, then. Oh, we can't do that. Oh. Wait a minute. Look, I know what's happened here, OK? One of my friends has hacked into your computers and been messing around. That can't happen. <laughs> you don't know my friends. Mr. Beckett, this is not the bank's decision. It's this court order against you. Order. It's not just your account that's been frozen, it's all your assets, and uh, all your cards are cancelled. Sorry. Never mind about legal procedure, just find out how I'm supposed to have got into this mess. What? I'm on my way. Andrew McHaig, I'm Nick Beckett. You took your time? Yeah, uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. What's the uh, situation here? One of our trucks overturned in the tunnel. Very dangerous cargo. What was it? Dynamite. Go on, sir. You, you can tell me. Well, I'm saying it was dynamite. A rock blaster. Well, people stopped a serious disaster here. Nobody did. Could have been a lot worse if the paramedics hadn't moved so quickly. Do you have an on-site medical team here? I've got an on-site hospital. Setbacks cost me penalty payments. I can't afford accidents. It may not have been an accident. I found this in one of the brake pipes. And that doesn't belong in any brake pipe. Quite. It looks like sabotage to me. Sabotage? Do you have enemies, Mr. McPeg? Enemies? Take a number and stand in line, son. What happened to you? Huh? Oh, I've uh, just got delayed, though. What happened to you? Yeah. Testing a new bike for some mates. Huh. One day there's going to be one of those little stunts you don't walk away from.
How many rooms have you got? I uh, took a couple of floors. Don't be too impressed by it, Beckett, because I'm not. There are more important things in life than money. Now, what do we have here? Where's Ed? Gone to see McHaig's daughter. <laughs> You're not one of this bunch. How can you tell? You stand out from all the usual suspects. <laughs> I've um, never seen anything quite like this. Where do you get your raw materials? I know people who work at NASA, Disney, all the big defense firms. They get me what I need. I did a show in Toronto last year. For the big finale, had blew up three rocket launchers and a passenger train. Wow. So what's the appeal? You have to be there to understand. It makes your guts move. It's better than rock and roll. Hmm. So why do you hate what you do? I don't hate what I do. This stuff hasn't come out of a happy mind. Happy people don't make art. Oh. What's your name? You won't find me on the guest list. I conned my way in to talk to you. Mm. So you don't know anything about me, but you want to talk to me? I, um... I know your father. What about him? Somebody's got a grudge against him. Big enough to want to stop the tunnel project and bring down his business. My father makes enemies without even noticing. Yeah. That's why I was hoping you could shed some light. I never had anything to do with the family firm. That was men's business. I was kept well away. But you've got a twin brother, haven't you? Christopher, who, who works with your father. Now, how can I get in touch with him? Christopher died two weeks ago. Sorry, you ran. Uh... My father never said. My father wouldn't. He was the one who drove him to it. This one tiny device turned the entire truck over. Well, it swims through the hydraulic system like a tadpole and jams on the brakes to one wheel. Clever stuff. Now, most of the components I recognize, they're just second hand from other machines. But the way it's been put together, that's brilliant. <coughs> Who's that? Oh, no. <sighs> His name's Channing Hardy. He's the businessman I did the license deal with. And, um, well, we had a date, and I forgot. Channing? Of course I didn't forget. I'll be ready in two minutes. This is Nick Beckett, one of my colleagues. You two make friends while I throw something on. Channing, have you uh, known Ros long? Uh, longer than you. <laughs> what have you found? We've uncovered an old wall that's not on the site schematic. Right. Let's see what's on the other side. Rick, are you in range? Yes, Ed. Uh, I'm on Millionaire's Row. Which one is it? Well, Ros is just leaving. You should be able to see her. <laughs> Ros, 
Carlos, what's happening? Sorry, Ed, I've got business, but Beckett's inside. He'll bring you up to speed. Okay. Uh, have a good one. Get a survey team down here. Not on any plan I've seen. So, uh, Ros got herself a new bloke. He's her new business partner. You don't like him. I'll never trust a man in a bow tie. He wasn't wearing a bow tie. Well, I could just imagine him in one, okay? Listen, um, was there anyone kind of hanging around out there? I don't think so. Why? Uh, um, would you mind uh, answering that? Yeah. I'm looking for a Mr. Nick Beckett. Might you be here? Uh, I, I think you got the, the wrong address, mate. I, uh, I don't know the bloke. I don't think it's an unreasonable question, Beckett. Look, I'm having a few financial problems, OK? And some guy is trying to dump some papers on me. You're being doorstepped by a process server? Look, I don't want to talk about this. Thought it may have been a paternity order. Ed, it's not funny! All right, I... Listen, you made any progress with this? Ross says it's a... It's a cross between scrap technology and genius. Meaning what? Well, all the parts are salvaged from existing machines, but the way they've been put together is entirely original. You don't say. Oh, come on then, Einstein. Let's hear your theory. Shed your blinding light on the problem. Well, you see, now I've got the perfect excuse to call someone who can do just that. Stop all operations. Chemical hazard, do not enter. Sealed by order of the Bureau of Weapons Technology, September 29th, 1953. You appear to have a live chemical weapon here. for Christmas. Give him a toy, he's happy. I heard that. So how's it going? Three sales, two commissions. Ah, excellent. You'll be solvent then. Solvent? I'm seriously rich. They're idiots. Hmm. Kitty, you must know a lot of people with these kinds of skills, but could, could anyone actually make something like that? There's one person I've heard of. Ros Henderson. I don't know what she's doing now. I think we can eliminate that area of the inquiry. Hmm. Who else might have an interest in seeing your father go bust? Anyone who might want to make him suffer by cutting him off from the one thing in his life he seems to care about. Let me hang on to this. I'll see what I can find out. Good night, Ed. Keep in touch. Yeah. I, um, never thought I knew that much about art. But you know what you like. So, uh, you and her, you got anything, uh... Oh. Hardly know. Mr. Beckett? Yep. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's a writ from one of your creditors, Mr. Beckett. Creditors? What is all this about? It's a long story. OK. Just give me the headlines. I thought I was giving Amanda a reference. Turns out, 
I'm standing guarantor to a debt. Amanda? The one? The one I nearly married, yeah. She then pledged my money to set up her new boyfriend in a recording studio, which went bust. Left you to carry the can. Listen, Ed, not word of this to Ros, okay? Lucky with a dynamite truck. Wait till he sees what I can do with something like this. What now? I made a map of the tunnels. Okay, good one. Get your burgling gear out, boys. We should be wearing gas attack suits. Don't be such a sissy. Come along. Ben, what's that? Dunno. Even better than I thought. Forget the missile, boys. This is much bigger game. Who have you told? Nobody. My own people are going to handle it. There are agencies that can deal with this. Those agencies can close me down. I can't afford any more delay. You can't talk about economics and safety in the same breath. This is the construction business, Sonny. What do you think we do all day? Your toxic hazard people won't have experience of anything like this. That's why I need you to advise them. We don't know what the chemical payload is. We don't even know how it came to be here. I've never even heard of the Bureau of Weapons. We used to regulate and monitor weapons technology. Used to? The department folded when the entire staff were wiped out. Beckett's gone out to find what he can. There was no way of reviving the Bureau. Too much of the skill base was lost, and we couldn't find anyone with the right kind of knowledge to put it all back together again. And I suppose you're on the lookout for a job, are you? No. Pity. Now I come to think about it, I'm surprised your name didn't come up. Hmm. Once you're out, you're out. I'm not looking for a job anyway. Even though you're broken over a barrel? Who told you that? I'm Director of Intelligence Coordination. DOIC knows everything. Look, all I need is the data on a Bureau operation from 40 years ago. The Bureau of Weapons in here. A pale, unhappy shadow of its former glory. Remains of the bureau, all the files, and one very low-grade filing clerk. Roland Blackley and all the others are either dead or permanently hospitalised. <clears throat> I tell you something, Beckett. A newly resurrected bureau could be a useful instrument for an officer in my position, especially a new bureau that was run with an outsider's mentality. Thank you, but I've got enough on my plate as it is. I could make your problem disappear. You know I have the means. Well, I could perhaps manage the occasional consultancy. 
Do you know the definition of a consultant, Mr. Beckett? It's a man who knows a hundred different ways of making love, but he doesn't know any women. I'm offering you the chance to do something real. With some long-term financial security, I know you need that. I, I can't do it. I... You'd rather run around with your friends, saving civilization for minimal recompense. You can carry on doing that, except you'll be doing it for me. Look, uh, just the information, please. Oh, dear. It appears to be unavailable. Oh, what do I have to do to change that? Container. It's gas tight and blast proof. We'll get the missile onto that and transport it for final disposal. Disposal? Where? That'll depend greatly on what's in it. Could be blister gas or one of the nerve agents. There's a different procedure for everything. Roz, I got Beckett on the line. How did he do? I'm not done yet. I'm waiting for the file clerk to go out and then I can sneak back in. What about the rest of the bureau staff? The file clerk is the bureau staff. Now the doorman says she goes out on some course at lunchtime. So I'm going to do the business. The last time I used one of these, I won a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> Just roughly, what are we dealing with? Well. If it's a chemical weapon, normally you've got a core of explosives running down the middle. Surrounding that, you've got a nerve agent. That's like an oily, poisonous jelly. When the explosive goes off, it disperses a jelly in a poison clown that contaminates every part of the site. Work stops. For how long? Work stops, Andrew. End of story. Cap the site off with concrete and survivors, if any, go home. I don't have time to argue, okay? <laughs> this course you do, it's not flower arranging, is it? Martial arts. Must be a very good student. I'm the teacher. Look, 
Give me a chance to explain, with you? I need your help. I don't think so. <clears throat> It'll be one in the eye for your boss. She'll never even know it. This is about as safe as I've ever felt with you behind the wheel. <laughs> Mr. McKay, we'll be out in a few minutes. Have the overpack container standing ready. It's ready for you. Then clear the area. What's happening now? Technical difficulties. We need a lot of vehicles down here. Ross, I think we've got a problem. These river things are getting tighter and tighter. I can't control it. <laughs> I'm squeezing the bomb casing. We need to cut it free. With what? They should hold him till I get to a medical center. You guys go, I'll be okay. Henderson, the doctor's seen me. I'm fine. When Mr. McHague comes round, don't tell him what's going on, yeah. or you'll never keep him in. Excuse me, I'm Kitty McHague. I would like to be alone with my father. Well, Daddy, this gives me the chance to talk to you without interruption for the first time on record. You have a rare gift for ruining people's lives, Father. Do you remember our 21st birthday? Mine and Christopher's. You gave him a vice presidency in the company and a block of voting shares. And I got a sports car. You wouldn't think a sports car could be a slap in the face. But you managed to make it one. You'll never know how proud of me you could have been. But you chose to shut me out. And then you always had to rubbish the life I made instead. You also have a great talent for despising father. Christopher killed himself rather than suffer it. I didn't just lose a brother. I lost a twin. And that's like having a piece of your heart cut out. I once swore. The day I return to your house would be the day I'd bring it down. Daddy, today is the day. I had to come away. I was getting upset and I think it was distressing him. Ed, I'm back. What's happening? Well, things aren't quite as simple as they were before. Is it still leaking? Uh, no. That stopped when the pressure came off. Good. That's water some time, then. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. It stopped leaking, and it started ticking. Is that Ed? <sighs> Who are you? I'm Kitty McCaig. You must be Ros Henderson. I've been wanting to meet you for a long time. Can I talk to him? Uh, we've got a problem here. I know. I'm taking over. I'm sorry? No disrespect, but it is the family firm. And I'm not without experience in this area. If you've got a problem with that, I suggest you speak to my father. Hello, Ed? Can you hear me? Kitty McCaig, now stay cool, and 
Uh, get you sorted. Ah, oh. well, you're a breath of fresh air. Look, Miss McKay, he doesn't have time for this right now. Well, what do you mean? The missile started ticking, Ed's barely mobile, and the two of them have to be brought out. This is not a good time to be handing over. Take a look at what I bought with me. I call it the battle wagon. I use it in all my shows. It's a bit of a lash up, but it gets a dangerous job done. So how does the driver see? Doesn't need a driver. Doesn't even need remote control. Everything's programmed into a smart controller unit. All it needs is a few rough directions, then it finds its own way. It'll deal with your missile, and Egg can hitch a ride out in style. This is it. That's a code red classified file. Yeah, I can cheat my way in using Ronan Blatty's old password. Gotcha. What's this? Isn't it what you were looking for? Oh, no, I, I thought we were talking about one old rocket walled up in a cellar 40 years ago because they didn't have the technology to do anything else with it. I didn't bargain on this. Well, I hope it's worth it. A code red means 10 years in prison if we ever got caught. Actually, I think it might be 20. 25. Look, please don't try and stop me. I've got to get this information through to Ros and Ed. Come and work for me, and I won't have you arrested. Look, I'm not exaggerating. This is life and death. Not really that much of a choice, then, is there? plan of the tunnels. Where did you get it? I know more about Daddy's business than he's ever given me credit for. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this. Kitty. I just passed the opening. I, I think I'm going the wrong way. Look, Ed, I know what I'm doing. Trust me. Just enjoy the ride. Can you check that the site's been cleared? Uh, are you sure about this? Ed, if I'm right, you should be just about to pass through a door. Kitty, everything stopped. It's all right, Ed. Just sit tight. This is just a program pause. Well, frankly, if it pauses for much longer, I'm going to get out, even if it means I have to crawl. Beckett, switch to channel nine. Just stop everything till I get there, Ross. We've seriously underestimated this situation. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been taken out of my hands. And I do not like the way it's going. It's not just one chemical weapon, Ross. It's an entire chemical weapons dump. And it's buried right under the streets of the city. What? Yeah, one of London's forgotten little secrets. It doesn't appear on any published map or survey. But there's enough stockpiled nerve agent down there to wipe out the entire West End. Anyone? Hello?
Thank you so much, Miss McKay. Where are you going? You know, I'm really glad we met up at last. I hear your name a lot. I think we're probably rather alike in a lot of ways. Uh, I don't know. I get a kick out of making things. You seem to get more of a kick out of destroying them. But it was nice to meet you anyway. If this is some kind of scheme to create the ultimate disaster spectacular whilst bringing down your father's empire, I think two people with so much in common ought to share the experience, don't you? Ross. Anyone. Well, this is good. I've got a ticking warhead, a car that won't move. I've got big tanks full of Boris Karloff juice wherever I look. I was just wondering. Any advice? Ed, have a look around the cab. See if you can find the smart controller unit. OK, I'm looking. Where's Kitty? Right here. Want to say anything to her? Yeah. Tell her I was touched by her concern. <laughs> Stay right here with me. If we don't get that missile into the overpack container, we can all go together. Hey, Ross. I found the navigator unit. Mr. McCaig. I might have guessed they couldn't keep you away. He discharged himself. It takes some kind of code to override it. Ed needs the override code to drive the missile out of there. Tell him, Kitty, please. What's the override code? You ain't leaving, Kitty Cat, so it's the only thing that'll save your skin. Come on, girl. I know I always push you both to be strong, but there's hard and there's stupid. Annabelle. Annabelle? What's her mother's name? Ed, try this. Annabelle. A double N A. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, I know how to spell it. You started. Guys, get the overpack ready. I'm on my way out. Kitty, could you really hate me this much? Yeah. Afraid so, sorry. Right, you've won. Get these off and let's get out of here. I told you, I don't have any keys. It's it. that a bang? I've eaten beans for lunch and done better. <laughs> all right. You've won fireworks over now. Let's get out. Yeah, all right. No, I mean now. She's still worried. No, I'm not. Wait a minute. This ticking missile business. That was a development she didn't know about. She might have been planning to blow up the gas dump, but not with that. Look, I'll tell you everything outside. Hang on. Real bombs in the battle wagon. Hey! Hey! Ed! 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 Open the door! Guys, I found it! I got it! It was underneath the navigator unit! Don't do this alone! Ed! Ed! Get to me! Please! Ed! So I need the second code for the bomb timer. The diffusing code for the bomb, what is it? I thought you liked Ed! Try Christopher. Ed, the code is Christopher. Christopher? 
Don't you think of anything trickier than Christopher? Forget it, I just jump! You can do this. Taking you into the theatre any minute. Hello, you. Are you not to worry? The pre med just kicked in. I can't worry. <laughs> Kitty mchague has gone missing, but we'll get her. What are you doing here? I just stopped by to check on my investment. Hope the damage isn't permanent. What investment? What is she talking about, Beckett? You haven't told them yet? Well, look, hang on a minute. The deal was just for me. You weren't listening. The deal was for the team. Well, there is one small thing that I, I, I might have forgotten to mention. I, I was wrong. Suddenly, I'm very worried. <laughs> <laughs> 